No worries, my dreams can't compete with this. I had a feeling you'd drop by today. Yes, you're truly irresistible. Unfortunately, I came here on business. If you say so, go on. I'm here because of Lev. Again? What does he have to do with me? Hopefully nothing, but your dogs might. Why did they attack Lev? Because of the Solstice, or was it something else entirely? What? I saw the bite marks. You even said they've been acting strange lately. So was he, that night. He was clumsy and slurred his words like he was drunk. He crossed the line and some of them felt threatened. Look, if the dogs really wanted to harm Lev, he wouldn't have survived that night. He didn't. You know what I mean. He got a serious warning. He didn't even bleed much. Do you think that's what killed him? No, I'm glad to say I don't. You don't have to worry. You're not taking care of a pack of killer wolves. Thank you. Glad to know I'm off the hook. Maybe now everyone will leave me alone. You really don't like attention, do you? Well, not all the attention was unwanted. But to have an entire city suspect me and watch my every move? That's not something I can get used to. You'll have to grin and bear it for a while, I'm afraid. The dog bites might have been harmless, but that doesn't prove you innocent yet. It doesn't. You're still the last person to have seen him alive, and you have no problem admitting you left him in a bad condition? All I could do is keep the dogs at bay. There's a reason they barely scratched him. But there's no one to confirm that. Certainly Yakon wouldn't vouch for you after you attacked her. Who's to say Lev didn't say anything to set you off, but hadn't her, hadn't her reflexes? I've heard enough rumors about you to make me wonder. What exactly did you do to earn such a reputation? I really don't want to talk about it. I understand, but you are the prime suspect here. I'm trying to help you, but you need to. I need to know everything. Then ask Istvan. Tell him how you. Tell. Let him tell you how they set a trap for me. How he ordered my friends and wife tortured and killed. Ask him what his reasons were. Why I was such a threat to him. I'd like to know that myself. Sam, I'm so sorry. It's. It's not your fault. It's mine. I screwed up and my family answered for it. That's what the whispers were about. I'm a dangerous person to keep around. I don't think you are. Yanni, I'm serious. Messing with the families or the enemies will get you killed. I suppose that's the reason my predecessor disappeared. But how else will I find out what's going on? You know, Istvan doesn't care about it one bit. He needs a scapegoat and I'm a perfect fit. So please, make sure you know what you're getting into. I'm not worth it. Getting into? I thought you enjoyed our time together last night. I mean, why else would you be so nice to a potential killer? If I wasn't, I'd will have to be rude to almost everyone in this town. Which does sound entertaining, I admit. Oh, my mistake. Was he mistaken? No, I do like him. Stop taking things so seriously. We have fun together. I thought we'd see where the mood takes us next. Well, in that case... Mine seems to prompt me in this direction. Good. I think it's wise to keep your suspects close. You don't think it's dangerous to be close? If you're as dangerous as you claim, I may have to frisk you. I'm not sure that's wise. What if you come closer and I attack? You'd be helpless. I'm pretty sure I can hold my own. Ooh, new trophy, tail wags. Wow. You take my breath away. I told you I was a thief. Nice. They're cute together too. I scored two romances. This is curious. Galen, do you have any idea how long it took me to find the entrance to this place? What grave mysteries have you uncovered that require meeting in such secrecy? What now? I don't want to show you anything, lady. You, on the other hand. Wait a moment. Please tell me you didn't receive a note telling you to meet me here. I did, and... Oh, why would someone pull such a silly prank? And there goes the door. Let's not jump to conclusions. It might just have been a draw. No, it's a trap. Or a deadly trap. Face it, Yanni. Someone lured us here and we brought into it and we bought into it like children. That we did. Let's have a look around then. This isn't an ordinary warehouse, that's for sure. Isn't that mean looking gizmo part of your failing system? Need I remind you, your people contributed too, if only slightly, but yes, it's a dashboard. Great, so use it to open the door for us. Unfortunately, this particular entry point is for monitoring purposes only. So you can't do anything. Figures. 
I can, however, tell you that the door mechanism, like most things in this city, works in 24-hour cycles. It should open at midnight for a brief period. So we have time to spare. The note I received is written in on Istvan's official stationery. How about yours? Mine as well. But I don't think Istvan would be stupid enough to leave his signature for us. Unless that's what he wanted us to think. Or someone trying to frame him. Or he really is an idiot and underestimates our joint powers of deduction. I don't think an idiot would be able to make the door open and close off schedule. And we already have another clue pointing at our lovely boss. Lev's journal. Well, it's all moot either way if we don't get out of here. What should we do? Ask Yanni for help. Force the door. Try to guess the password. Ask Yanni for help. We need to get this door open somehow. Will you help me? Of course. What exactly are you proposing? I need you to relax, close your eyes, and focus on... I'm not sure I feel comfortable with this. I don't know what you imagine, but the goal here is for you to feel comfortable, Yanni. I distrust magic, but fine, I'll follow your lead on this one. I'm not closing my eyes, though. Your distrust will decrease our chances, you know, but let's try anyhow. Ugh. This is awkward. I don't feel any... Wow. Did it... Did it work? Nope, still closed. But now I know why you dumped your first boyfriend. You read my mind? Not intentionally. This sort of thing happens sometimes. You can't control it. Which I guess could be said about the boy as well. How dare you? It's fine. Frankly, I dumped him too. Regardless, my little trick didn't work. Have any better ideas? Maybe I would if you'd stop this nonsense for just a second. I think we should accept the fact that we're stuck here until this thing opens as planned. But this means whoever trapped us will be free to do whatever they please while we're here. I don't like this at all. My teachers always said that I should look for a silver lining in any difficult situation. We could use this time to open our hearts and become real friends. I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings, but... Do you want to sit in chat? This is ridiculous. Gladly, just not now. Why not get straight to the hugs? Marvelous. Do you want me to braid your hair while we tell stories about our love lives? I'm not sure about braiding, but I'm very glad to learn more about your less official side. Sorry. No braids. No talk. What the? What was that? Look at the dashboard. Something is seriously wrong. It seems the second state security circuit is about to malfunction. And you just noticed? Hush! Somebody is damaging the system as we speak. The first safety circuit was destroyed when somebody increased the pressure. That's what caused the node in the market lamppost to collapse. How many safeguards are there? Three. And someone is working their way through them. We have to stop this or the main flow will become vulnerable to external manipulation. We can't do anything while we're trapped here. Agreed. We need to think of something. Fast. I'll search these boxes. You look through that pile. Fine. We'll do. Find anything? Most of this stuff has been lying here so long it's either broken or decaying. Wait, I have some matches. I found a spatula. Great. Start digging. What? Clearly you underestimate the potential of quality kitchenware. There is nothing of, us of use here. I can't believe we're actually helpless. Maybe I'll set the door on fire. You're crazy, you know that? Start being productive for a change. I need some sort of accelerant to make the floor door flammable. Or at least to produce a sufficient amount of smoke to alert someone. We could burn our clothes? You're impossible. Fine, perhaps we should abandon the idea and look some more. Wait, I found something else. A way out? Better. It's booze. Can we use it as an accelerant? Again, you're, in you're insane, but I like you anyways. Drinks are on me. I am not drinking in a moment like this. Your call. Bottoms up. This is hopeless. The safety system failing. The saboteur is one. Give me that bottle. I should warn you, it's not the best liquor. But we're not exactly in a position to be picky, are we? That doesn't sound good. Of all the sounds in the city, this is definitely my least favorite. Yes, the sound of failure. The second safeguarding circuit is about to fail. Brace yourself. That's what you get when you trust faculty to build a city for you. At least I'll die with a bottle in my hand. You'll die a jerk, too. Cover your head. That's it? We're still alive. I thought the room would collapse with the second barrier. Looks like the saboteur managed to get through one barrier, but nothing more. Don't be so happy. With safety measures down, the next time this happens, we're all screwed. Look at the bright side. We're still alive. 
Either this was a very unsuccessful assassination attempt, or the villain had enough decency not to get rid of us. They're skilled enough to conduct precise operations without causing immediate destruction. They probably would just kept us alive so we could witness the fall of the city. Ah, the door's open. Apparently not all is lost. You're so naive, magic boy. Somebody kept us here just long enough to do what they wanted. Well, at least I found this perfectly fine spatula. <laughs> That's it. I'm leaving. That's it. I'm leaving. Don't go all ballistic. We still have a sample to analyze. You almost made me forget about it. As much as I hated to admit it, Galen's knowledge of his craft was impressive. The water has transmitted warmth and other forms of energy, powering the entire system. So the more we knew about them, the larger our chances. Oops. My reckless friend confirmed they can cause grave psychological effects, including psychedelic visions, memory gaps, and lapses in judgment. He suspected the vapors alone could have a prolonged, if subtle, effect on citizens. Luckily, the drinking water was in a completely separate system, and came from a different source. Then, he followed with his usual quackery. He claimed every time someone manipulated the water, their feelings and motivations entered the current and were stored there indefinitely. I wonder whether yelling at pipes would get Istvan off my case. Hmm. I'm almost as far from uncovering who is damaging the city as I was when I first came here. This is preposterous. How can Isfan expect me to make an informed decision on suspicions alone? Not having an opinion does seem to attract people willing to sway it, though. Come in, please. Pardon my intrusion, Yanni. I'm surprised you keep the door unlocked. Isn't that unsafe? Rumor has it you and Galen were in trouble already today. How did she know about that? The culprit simply walking through my front door would certainly save me a lot of trouble. Does that mean you don't know who the killer is? Why is everyone asking me this? I really can't reveal anything about the investigation. That answers my question. It is as I suspected. Listen, I have no patience left for another vague conversation. I can see you're not coping well with the pressure. But hear me out. I came to offer you my help. Did you now? How very curious. I have no doubts about your intellectual prowess, Yanni, but even the swiftest mind cannot simply conjure, conjure answers to questions it doesn't understand. I am only asking you to listen. You may do as you please afterwards. I do need information, but her visit is suspicious. But is she actually afraid? You're so tense, it's unlike you. Are you really so distraught? Of course I'm frightened. Believe it or not, I would prefer to die of old age rather than in the next explosion. I agree, that would be preferable. That's why you should stop this nonsense and listen to what I have to say. Istvan demands answers, and you will have to deliver them whether you like it or not. You can't afford to be picky about your sources. Thanks for reminding me. My questions would reveal most of my suspicions to you, however. Um, my questions would reveal most of you, however. You should know best of all that knowledge rarely comes without a price. But fear not, I won't abuse your trust. This place has been my home long enough for me to answer its rules. I hate to see all that effort go to waste. The madness of the city. It seems I have no choice but to take the risk against my better judgment. You're learning fast. Alright, I'm all ears. The first thing you should remember is that anyone is capable of anything. There are no innocents here. I assumed as much. However, the saboteur must have a motive, which so far I failed to discover. Can you help me with that? Let's start with Slava. I'm sure she used to love her husband. I'm also certain he regretted his decision to abandon his life as a scholar to travel with his adventurous wife. Did she ever forgive him for that regret? Or for turning his back on reality? Has Laura forgiven the families for ruining her life? She has every reason to hate her master, yet she never rebelled against him. Or has Yukon abandoned the legacy of her tribe? She is terribly defensive about it. Even Kaz, has, le has he left his violent ways behind? I like to think I know him well, but he's the only person who's never agreed to tell me his story. Oh, but he told his story to, to Galen. And what about you? So far you have not revealed any details concerning your own wickedness. I'm no saint either, but in a crowd of wrongdoers, who can distinguish the true villain? So you don't suspect anyone? 
No, I suspect everyone. Don't you? Everybody here has one reason or another to hate this place. I do too. The families took away my freedom, my identity. They left me empty. Even now, it's not easy for me to talk about. My anger used to wake, keep, keep me awake at night. I used to loathe all these people, just because they belonged to this world. I hated being alone because I began to belong to it myself. Not belonging is something I can relate to very well. You don't look defeated, though. I'm not. Wait. Not belonging is something I can relate to very well. You don't look defeated, though. I'm not. We all got dealt a bad hand, Laura. Slava, Yakon. All taken out of our respective homes and families and forced to play by someone else's rules. I could be considered lucky. After teaching me their customs and traditions, Isfan's brother began treating me like a human being. He grew to love me and became the only family I had. The feelings I had for him extend to Istvan now. I have no reason to destroy what I have earned, if that's what you're wondering. Who does then? I have a feeling you're asking about someone in particular. I am. What about Seb? He was the last person to see Lev alive. Was he? That would add up, wouldn't it? What do you mean? Sam seems so very calm. Here we go again with the vague innuendos. Come on, it's you who wanted this conversation. Ever since he came to this city, Sam has kept to himself. He hasn't harmed anyone, nor has he been particularly helpful. Monstrous. Curious, nobody is so unobtrusive it stands out around here. So he must be evil incarnate? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh no, nobody would mind it if he was evil. It's far worse than that. He's not an idiot. I've checked. What could be worse then? He's a failure. A coward too. He sent people to their deaths and gained nothing from it. That's how bad he is. And that sounds like something personal that has nothing to do with this investigation. Perhaps. But you asked about him, and this is what I know. Judge its relevance yourself. I will. Here's the whole story. Sem was the leader of a small but very effective group of thieves. They were quite notorious in their day. Then one of their numerous victims finally caught up with them. A powerful merchant, embarrassed he couldn't secure his possessions. Broken pride can be an uncanny motivator. How does that make Sem a failure? He was the one they caught first. He gave up everyone, his closest friends, even his pregnant wife. You know, it's not as simple as that. I imagine torture would eventually break anyone. They didn't even have to lay a finger on him. They just gave him a choice. Rat out his entire crew, or lose his right arm. I'm sure you notice he still has both hands. Na I'm sure she did notice that he still has his hands. I'm sure Yanni knows that very well. They made him watch as this whole group died in agony. First his friends, then his wife. And they left him alive afterwards? Did they? It was a matter of honor for the merchant. He made Sem into a walking warning. A very effective one. No wonder he's like, doesn't want to deal with people anymore. A forced compact with Isfan was the final touch. Stripping the thief of all his possessions, including his free will, was their idea of justice. Seems almost too cruel to be true. Ask him yourself if you don't believe me. I don't expect him to have the audacity to lie to you, to your face. How do you know all this? It's a long story, one you don't have time for. And what is that supposed to mean? Merely that your time is almost up. Isfan will ex be expecting you soon. How could I forget? However, there's one more thing, perhaps the most important piece of information I can offer. I'm glad you keep, kept it until the very end then. At this point, learning too much too quickly could probably kill me. We only talked about the people I know well. This one's about a newcomer. You mean Magic Boy? What kind of mischief was he involved in this time? Public urination? Gross indecency? He followed Lev the night of his disappearance. Tell me everything you know. Istvan's guards aren't very observant, but they were explicitly ordered to keep an eye on Lev. After they had beaten the poor man up, they watched him go to the doctor's quarters. What a twist would it be if one of the main protagonists was actually the killer? If it was Galen all along, or heck, maybe even Yaniv all along. After they had beaten the poor man up, they watched him go to the doctor's quarters. He left a moment later, and Galen followed. 
Unfortunately, they both vanished into an alley afterwards. At least that's what the guards I spoke told me. I'm guessing they had some ale and became even less watchful than usual. Thank you for telling me this. I'm glad I could be of help to you, Yanni. Frankly, I don't envy the position you're in, but I certainly can relate. As I said, you can do what you please with this knowledge. Just be safe. She's right. I'm treading on thin ice. Sem's story is gruesome, but Isvan still seems to have much more to do with what happened to Lev. As for Galen, he better have a good explanation. Oh yes, he better. Hey, it's my favorite defrosted person. I was looking for you. We need to talk. Oh, are we breaking up already? Don't worry, it's not you. It's me. <laughs> are you drunk again? Have you forgotten we have an investigation to conclude? We? Oui, I've had enough drama for today. Besides, you're Istvan's new pet. You deal with it. That's exactly what I'm doing. Why were you following Lev that night? And please spare me the sob story about being a responsible doctor. I thought he was involved in what was happening with the system. As it turns out, I was right. We found him in a hidden chamber where he had been performing some kind of ritual. Quite a feat for a deranged old man. Seems so. Find anything else while following him? Yanni, you know as much as I do. His routine was erratic and it was impossible to make any sense of his escapades. What about the last one he took? Did you follow him then as well? I didn't. I gave up at that point. That last night, Lev was in bad shape. Why did you let him leave? I'm obligated to help, but I can't force people to be treated. Lev was going through some kind of ma manic episode and wouldn't listen to reason. I could have tried knocking him unconscious, but seemed, that seemed a bit too cruel. If knocking a patient out is the only solution that comes to your mind, perhaps you're not as skilled as you think you are. Oh, snap! I gave him a concoction, something for the pain combined with a powerful healing agent. What was in it? Corona Ursina. Without getting too technical, it works wonders when brewed with love and goodwill. Sam met him afterwards and said Lev behaved like he was intoxicated. Could your potion have that effect? What can I say? It's heavy stuff. Before you say anything, please mind that making your patient woozy is a small price for closing their wounds overnight. One last thing. The city plans are missing. Do you know anything about that? You lost them? We still have our copies in the Academy vaults. Don't be ridiculous. I'm talking about the documents that were left with the families. Sorry, love. I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm not as close to Istvan as some people. The Chancellor told me you rarely use plans, but it's hard for me to believe you would seek them in a time of crisis. We have our ways of getting by without them. And yet you have no idea where the control chamber is. You know I don't. Someone is making its, is masking its location. Really, you failed to mention that before? Because you don't believe in this stuff. The saboteur has way too much knowledge about rituals for me to feel comfortable. You mean someone is keeping its secret using magic? Yes. So, if your tricks don't work, you still need plans, just like everyone else. I didn't take them. I had no idea you left a, you lot left a copy here in the city. It doesn't seem wise, though, does it? I won't discuss our procedures with you. Besides, they were encrypted. I'm telling you, for the last time, I didn't know about the plans. Get on with your witch hunt somewhere else. Stop overreacting. I'm done for now. So tell me, friend. Should I wear something special for tonight's ceremony? Something flammable for the steak? Oh, please, it's not all about you, you know. See you tonight, Galen. You know what? Oh, screw it. Great, just great. I thought I heard your voice, Yanni. Where's Galen? His stew's ready. He stormed out. Wow, is Galen the, the killer? That would be really interesting. He looked disturbed when he came here. Frankly, you don't look too well either. I'm very tired is all. Don't Things don't add up. Ispan wants results tonight, and I haven't even had a chance to sleep since that party. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm complaining to you when you just learned. Don't worry about it, you poor thing. Yesterday was a shock, but I came to terms with the fact that I lost Lev years ago. This was the inevitable conclusion. So, how's your investigation going? Do you have anything to satisfy, Istvan? I really shouldn't talk to you about... Or actually... It's not like it's a real investigation anymore. It wouldn't change anything. It'll make you feel better, at least. 
I guess. You know, you used to be at the top of my list of suspects. Then I saw your action at the bathhouse, and now I feel stupid. I'm sorry. No need to apologize, Yanni. I know this is usually how such cases go. You were doing what was expected of an investigator. Thank you. Then I thought about Yakone. She has a reason to hate the city. There's the tribes and the whole Kala, Kala taboo. She didn't do it. I met her today. She asked a lot of questions, and I realized I misjudged the relationship. I think Yakone was the closest thing to Lev's friend in these last years, no matter how much she tries to hide it. She's always distancing herself from her roots, like they're something shameful. People in the city hate or, at best, look down on the tribes. Lev was the only one who was genuinely interested in her culture, even if for the wrong reasons. I can't stand, I can't see how she could ever harm him. Are you sure? I still have some suspicions. I am. Please, Yanni, leave her out of this. If she did anything, it would be on Istvan's order. Istvan, I'm afraid, is at the top of my list right now. He has a reasonable motive and enough power to make someone disappear. Not to mention that he insists on sweeping this under the rug as swiftly as possible. Oof. Merciful chances, please don't tell me you know something. He... He's offered to take care, take care of Lev before. In his eyes, my husband was nothing but a burden. I didn't think he was being serious, but I always won't... I, I didn't think he was being serious, but I always told him not to even think of it. But now, all he cares about are the stars and those devices of his. He's become so disconnected, just like Lev. When this whole thing happened, my first thought was that Istvan was involved. He scares me. I don't know what to think anymore. I know how that feels. Just today I realized Galen is a prime suspect too. Don't be absurd. That boy's helped me more than anybody else in this forsaken town. Think about it. A doctor and a volunteer investigator? The last person anyone would ever suspect. A perfect position to tamper with evidence too. We know so little. We don't even know the cause of death. We have to rely on Galen for that. But why, Yanni? Why would he harm Lev? That's the problem. He's the only person with a sensible motive. Without getting into details, Lev was getting too close to secrets that Galen's mentors prefer to keep hidden. He could have also endangered the city unintentionally. Galen is a skilled poison maker and had the opportunity to administer who knows what to Lev when he treated him. Nobody would second guess a doctor. Even if he didn't mean to harm Lev, who knows how Lev's body would react given the state he was in. I refuse to believe it. I know people. I know that boy really wanted to help me. He cared, Yanni. I don't know. I'm just thinking aloud. It's really interesting, like, suspecting our own, like, character, our other character. I don't know. I'm just thinking aloud. It all adds up to more than I'd like. You're just tired. You're overthinking things. Maybe. I know it would be easier to point to Sem and be done with it. Sem? Wouldn't that be with Istvan what Istvan wants? To put a well-known and despised criminal in prison? He could as well be the one who did it. I don't know. I honestly don't know what I should do. I don't know either. Frankly, I'm not even sure I want to know who killed my poor husband. Even if he was murder. At, even if it was murder at all. People in the city are like family to me. And all families have their dark secrets. If one of them harmed Lev, I'd rather stay ignorant. I can't help you with your investigation. But there's one thing I can do for you. Yes? We have comfortable room upstairs. They're all free during the dead season. I'll give you a key so you can at least catch a few hours of sleep. Yes, I'm sure Yanni would love that. That's very nice of you. Thank you. You're welcome. And don't worry about anything. I'll wake you up before evening. Wow. Just like that, Yanni was the Inquisitor and I was a suspect. A poet once wrote that there is nothing worse than self-righteousness. Now I understand what she meant. I knew Nanny Gade would scold me for doing something rash, but I was running out of time. I decided to make use of the greenhouse's access to the waters to try an improvised ritual. My goal was to counteract the damage done by the saboteur, and the plant I saved from the frost earlier was going to help. The ritual was going surprisingly well. I work fast under pressure. Unless I'm interrupted, that is. Hmm. 